Aiden's looking for something on the magnet. Oh, it's right there. Is it good we put out our first breakdown video before I've officially put out our first? Technically, it's not our first, but the e brake quit working on it. Oh, too. oops. Well, you don't need that. Nobody needs brakes. A couple things that's happened. So, you know, that's what I read about these things before I bought it. Is that they're good machines, but they're just not assembled well. There's always like loose nuts, bolts. Uh, and you're not fairly handy and can figure out how stuff works. You, they say stay away from it. Maybe I better buy something else. It's a good thing I'm handy. Uh, yeah. So we good. So this goes where now? This is what we were actually waiting on while we didn't get today. Yeah, so the whole reason we, bought we never it. got it the day we bought it was because this nut that holds the sprocket. The upgrade one was supposedly coming. Yeah, well. Oops. Right here. Anyways, we're going to have to put it back on there somehow. <laughs> but it's not going to happen because i got to buy a special socket. And then it takes a special socket to put it on. Nice. So how are we going to get back inside? Push it? Push it inside until I can get the stuff ordered probably she played play and broke your unit mm, no they just didn't put it on there again mm. i'm going with you broke it anyways the company that i was telling you about i can't remember the name of them they said this is a known problem and he sells an upgraded locking nut that's the problem is the nut don't lock like it's supposed to we should probably get one of those and he said they sell them all the time because this is a known problem so i'm gonna buy a new locking nut and the special socket it takes to put this back on. I might go ahead and buy a nine tooth sprocket to increase the torque and put it on if I'm going to dig into this anyways. Might as well. So that's what we're talking about. Y'all be pretty. So update on the Hyson. We ordered the updated, what was supposed to be a lock washer. They're supposed to make a new and improved where you can see those little tits are supposed to interlock in the inside of the shaft on the sprocket. Well, the new one is no better. It's the exact same thing. The tits don't aren't deep enough to lock anything and the whole lock washer just spins. So we have made our own lock washer. We we're going to use an actual lock washer, but they're too thick. So we've made our own and I'm going to try that with some Loctite and hope that it works. We will let you know. All right. So we have the makeshift nut that we are nut washer, lock washer. We made it's back on there. We've got the cover back on, put the wheels and tires back on now. Come back. Got that done. Yeah. What are you waiting on? Huh? 